What have we got today, Dan? Something very special, Phil. Something incredible. And gorgeous. <laughs> we have a 1956 Gibson Les Paul Jr. We sure do. Well, yeah. you do. <laughs> yeah. <that's... laughs> I wish I did. This is Phil's, baby. This one has been beat. It looks like it's been dragged behind a truck for the last 10 years. And, oh, that's uh, awesome. I think that's... Maybe a good feature of an old guitar. It, it shows it's been played and loved and enjoyed, you know. And obviously, yeah. people in, uh, like the sound, or they they wouldn't have uh, played it so much. So it's been played. It's been played. It's been used. It's been abused. Wow. It's a. Uh, that is nuts. It is, yeah. It's got every little scratch and mark to. Uh, was uh, I'm, I'm just thinking. Was Eisenhurst present in 1956? I have no idea. I think he was. I'm going to show my ignorance, but I'm nearly sure he was. I could be wrong. <laughs> but um, the 50s, like, this is, like, it's incredible. Yeah. That's how much I know about the 50s. There you go. <laughs> that just shows you. This is what I know about the 50s. This is just Yeah, insane. I mean, it's a 61-year-old guitar now. Oh, my God. That's nuts. Yeah. Like, yeah, the Korean War would have been over just in 51 to 53. Wasn't the Korean War something like that? So this was made three years after the Korean War. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Again, showing my ignorance about the 50s. Could have been ah. 54. 51 to 53 or 54, I think. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but that's what that's the kind of period we're talking about. That's it. That so, even makes it even... By the way, is this, is this uh, original? Oh, it's all original. It's all original. That yeah. guitar is, is 100% original. The jack, the wiring, plate, yeah. the scratch yeah. plate. It's got the... Um, um, Grey Tiger capacitor in the um, in the controls between the two pots. The tuners on that are original. You know, it's uh, it's awesome. It is awesome. But uh, did I see Steve Stevens play one of these? Oh, it looks Steve Stevens has, has played him. Uh, what's uh, Bruce Kulick from Kiss? I've seen videos. Actually, I, I saw him in the nineties using the Junior. Um, it's quite amazing as a single pick up. We're not getting a lot of hum from the amplifier. Pitting in the wood there. The case the queen, hey? I like that. I like the case queen. Very good, very good. A bit of pitting on the neck there. I mean, this guitar yeah. has been played. It's got a nice thing, like a V profile neck, you know, it hasn't got big shoulders. So even had, it, it's big at the actual back of the guitar. Mm, mm. It doesn't yeah, feel it, like it, a big neck. Chunky because chunky of the way it, it goes. Yeah, it's, it's actually quite, it's a small neck. It's, it's, it's not because it's yeah. rounded, you know, mm. it's, it's more of a V, so mm. it's. It's it's a it's a cool profile, you know. It's very different from from a '59 um, Les Paul in that respect, but you know it has got a nice big solid thick neck. That's what you're trying to play in the '50s, the jazz. <laughs> the cool 
cool thing with these P90 pickups when you turn them up, you know, they do have a, a, a lovely growl out of them. And, you know, all, all the P90 pickups were very different. You know, my 59 Junior isn't as high output as this, and this, is, this, this guitar is a screamer, you know. Okay, what's up, man? Just wear away that paint a bit more. Yes, that's <laughs> it's gorgeous. That's it. I mean, you, know, you can't review a six-year-old yeah. guitar. It's been through a lot. It's mm. played, and I, I think it's a, even a testimony to how well it was built. Mm -hmm. When sixty years later, she's holding up the electronic parts are holding up. You know, it's the original jack. You know, the jacks go mm. on a lot of the, the guitars. You know, it's one of the first things to go. And I mean, the sound quality is—it's it's just a beautiful sounding guitar. You know. Absolutely. Mm. Stunning. Stunning. Yeah. You know, if you play for those controls a bit then, to turn that um, um, tone down to about number one and you get sure. this sort of pseudo neck. Heavy neck or just, just clean? Or just, yeah, just clean. No, I'll try it in both. <laughs> Sounded like it was a neck pickup. Didn't yeah, it did actually. Yeah, yeah. It was, was that real kind of a just I can hear it just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thing going on where it's 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 feedback in there, isn't it, buzzing? A little bit, yeah. Like, I mean, we're sitting on the amp, so well, that, I mean, is that's, that's, that is true. We're not exactly giving that us a good way. But you know, even when you, you know, yeah. the thing of these guitars is it's all about using the controls to get the sounds. If you turn, you know, your volume down to about number one or two, the guitar really cleans up. You know, I love it about two there.
up sound better as, as a clean sound than a humbucker, yeah. and a humbucker sounds better. Yeah. And yeah. I think the P90s have the best of both worlds, you know, because it is a single coil, they clean up extremely well, but this just has a lovely growl out of this guitar. And, and I actually read before that even Zach Wilde, when he, he records his clean parts, mm -hmm. he has a, 50, a 50s uh, junior that he actually uh, records his clean parts with. So, yeah. It's something a bit I mean, it, you know you wouldn't expect, but uh, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm loving them, man. Just like... Yeah, you yeah. Know, just to, just oh, it is, yeah, still, yeah. yeah so, right. I mean, yeah, to turn it down that much, Crunch. and you know, when Dan yeah. was playing it yeah. quietly, you know, yeah. the tones are just so different. It's all about the player, you know, how he's playing the guitar. Yeah. Caressing the guitar. I'm sorry, I keep, I keep playing over him. That's so rude. I'm so rude, but this is so gorgeous. Yeah, look, you know. And he doesn't bring it down very often, so let's see. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know that they. they oh, totally. Yeah, yes, they don't have the pretty maple top yeah. and and the lovely flame maple, yeah. but you know, it's kind of like the, it's, it's like the studio, isn't it? Kind of like the studio version of you know the studio, the Gibson studio. Well, uh, that was the thing is, I mean, yeah. these these were these a cheap guitar. The forerunner, you know? are they? Yeah. Well, that's the whole thing. It was a cheap guitar for people who couldn't afford mm. the standard, and then you had the custom, which was more expensive than the standard. So, you know, it was a, a the basic model guitar. Best. They weren't yeah. built with any less. Uh, care or quality, you know, the same necks went on these, the yeah. same woods they were using, you know, in the 56 they were still using P90 pickups in um, the Les Paul standard, mm. but, you know, as, as I always said, it, really for a vintage guitar, a juniors are a great yeah. bargain, I yeah. mean, okay, you're still paying, you know, five to six grand for these. What? With a Yeah, but cons look, you consider, you, 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 you would pay six grand for this guitar? Yeah. Holy. Yeah. But you consider a Les Paul standard from 1959 or 58 to 60, they're going for over 200,000. And considering, to me, this pickup will give you that same sound, you know? Wow. So, for a vintage guitar, it's, well, it's, it's, it's... All I can say is someone really loved this guitar because they actually tried to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> they has got bite marks on it. marks <laughs> on this guitar. <laughs> Someone actually tried to eat this yes. guitar. That's it's how tasty. much they did. It, it is they so, it tasty. so tasty. Yeah. Yeah. They couldn't get enough. That's it. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. You know, I'm going to have to brush up on my 50s history now. And just, uh, <laughs> make sure I got all that right. That's it. Fingers crossed. But yeah. this is a stunning, stunning piece. Yeah. Look at the, I, I love the, even the paintwork. I mean, like it just goes in just so nice. Just well, I think that's good. why, you know, like a lot, yeah. lot of people love these relic mm. guitars now because the whole thing with the relicking of the nitrocellulose, like that, it's just added another 3D effect mm. to the guitars. Mm. And, mm. you know, rather than yeah. saying, oh, it's just a sort of brown into yellow guitar, yeah. you've got yeah. all this checking in it and it just adds something else to it. It's nuts. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Let's go back of the course. Look at that. Look at that buckle rash. Yeah. It's incredible. Doug Aldridge yeah. is another guy I've seen oh, a few yeah. videos yeah. Uh, now exactly. playing them, and yeah. of course Billy Joe from uh, Green Day. Oh yeah, an yeah, absolute very, yeah. ambassador for these yeah, guitars. Totally, yeah, it would suit them down to the ground. Yeah, you know? yep. It's a, uh, it's, it's a cool guitar. So it certainly is. Anyway, there's it's just a, a little bit of a, a well, show and tell. Look at it. Yeah, I could just look at it all day. I just, I mean, just one more, one more, one more, just one more. <laughs> Thank you. 
second? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm honored. I'm honored. I wish. Anyway, yes, just guys, the show and tell. Show this you, off. It's not a review. It's not a review. No, it's, 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 it's a worship. That's it. I mean, it shows you a few yeah. sound samples. You know, they're a yeah. great collector's piece, and yeah. you know, it is the sort of thing that you buy these where it is an investment. You know, the prices yeah. could sh go through the roof, or they may not. But the whole cool thing about it, it's an investment that you can play and enjoy it. Don't put it in a safe. Just play them. You know, that's the whole point. I, if you're not actually getting the sound out of it, yeah. Why do you why do you own it? You are know? you are you going to sell this one, Phil? No, no, no. That's that's uh, you'll enough. have to pry that one from my cold, cold dead, dead fingers enough. if you want that oh. guitar, Dan. <laughs> Fair enough. I hope you leave it to me in your will, Phil. Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 On that note, thank you very much. We'll see you later. <laughs> see you guys. Uh,